Hey guys, I'm standing here at the Matrix Internet Cafe in downtown Stockholm, where we are currently doing the uh, Swedish Game Awards Jury Weekend. So come on in. My name is Anders Frank and I work as a researcher and program manager at National Defense College. Um, my name is Jon Harry Lid. I'm currently a business analyst at Electronic Arts DICE Studio here in Stockholm. My name is Linda. I work as community manager for Paradox Interactive. I think that there are a number of games that are really impressive. Uh, they have a um, sort of um, get a sense of a complete work. There's a lot of cool uh, co-op games. Uh, we've been playing like three or four people on the same keyboard, um, and also a, a lot of more multiplayer game than it used to be like five years ago when I was the project manager for Swedish Game Awards. I think there has been a lot of innovative games this year, and uh, we have had very fun playing them. There are several very, very good games, I can tell you that. These two dates we have tested uh, 60 games, and uh, in brackets of four each, so first we watch trailers, and then we test these four games. It's a really hectic work and we're intense to do that. Uh, that it, it isn't that, that much time for each game. But uh, we try to game and then catch the gameplay aspect for every game and then go back to, to see if there is any, any other aspect to the, to the game. And we discuss them while still in recent memory. Uh, and then we have cards that we physically place in ranking order. Um, excellent for for the memory, and we have pictures on the cards as well, so so we'll know for sure what game it is. I usually look at uh, a number of things, but uh, coming from Dice, we have a really strong uh, thinking about quality. Um, it's also important to have some kind of innovative element, uh, as well as having a lot of fun while playing the game. I'm looking for um, well, mostly completeness, that it feels like I could buy this game today. Um, well, that's for game of the year, I guess. For, for the other ones, they don't have to be quite as complete. Basically, I'm looking for, um, well, the normal thing that you actually do for the game, good gameplay. Uh, but also, I would like to, I'm looking for a good atmosphere in the game. It could be used uh, uh, in games uh, that uh, taking a standpoint for another original idea that's, that's we've been seen before, but do they have an extra twist to it? Or do, do they actually execute the game in a very comprehensive manner that's actually good and fun to play. A couple of other things that I usually add to to my thinking looking at different games is uh, how is this game gonna gonna play out over time? What's the longevity? And also the um, where it would fit in terms of a, a commercial thinking. Will it sell on this specific platform or would it be more suitable on, on some other kind of platform or other business opportunity? I want it to be innovative and fun to play and if it adds something new to gameplay, that's even better. <laughs> 